Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to install add-ins in Excel. So I've got an add-in here. You may have created your own add-in or downloaded it from somewhere. First step is to save it somewhere on your system. It doesn't matter where you save it. There is a default location for add-ins, but you can actually save your add-ins wherever you like. So once it's saved in Excel, go to File and then Options. And down the side here, choose Add-ins. And then at the very bottom of the screen, it says Manage Excel Add-ins. Click on Go. Then you need to click on the Browse button. And this is where you need the path for your add-in. So I'll copy it from here. There's my add-in. I select it and I click on OK. You can see that the add-in now appears in this list. It's ticked, so it's activated. Click on OK. And then I could check in a new workbook whether the add-in is available. Now, this add-in included one custom function, which counted red cells. And the function is called count red cells. And you can see that it appears here in the IntelliSense list. So I know that my add-in has been installed. So there is a couple of other ways of adding add-ins to Excel. And both those methods require the developer tab to be shown on your ribbon. If the developer tab isn't visible, just right click on another tab, go to customize the ribbon and tick this option here, developer. So on the developer tab, you'll see a button called Excel add-ins. This will take you straight to this dialog box where you can browse for new add-ins. And then you also have this button here, which allows you to install add-ins that are available on the Microsoft Store. So if I click on that, and then go to Store here, if I typed in Calculus, here is an add-in for Calculus functions. So what I would do is I click on Add, and then Continue. And then you'll see that it's automatically taken me to the Formulas tab which now shows an extra group of buttons named calculus functions. So in there is all the functionality that this new add-in gives me. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully it's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.